Tiger King is incredibly popular right now. It's crazy. It's bizarre. It's full of marketing lessons. Wait, what? Millions of people a week are following it. How do you do that? And our content is so unique. It turns out many of the main characters had huge online audiences even before the documentary, and they were utilizing social media to not only get their perspectives across, but to build their brand and bring in more business. So step aside, Gary V. Here's five key marketing lessons from Tiger King. Carol Baskin is so influential. Lesson one, don't be afraid to repeat yourself. Joe Exotic talks about Carol Baskin so much it's become a meme. Part of Carol Baskin's plan with Peter the Carol Baskin. Carol Baskin is so influential that Carol Baskin and Carol Baskin. But it's true that if you have a point you want to get across, you need to repeat it. We can all be guilty of arrogantly assuming that if we've said something once, our audience got it. But the fact is, most of your audience don't see everything you put out. And even if they do, it takes hearing something multiple times for it to really sink in. So don't be afraid to repeat your key messages. Carol Baskin, yep. Lesson two, embrace the weirdness. That's a tiger, now I understand. The huge success of Tiger King really proves one thing. People love weird. The more outrageous Joe got, the more attention he got. The more he incorporated drama into his content, the more popular it became. And it's an important reminder of the danger of vanilla content that's overly safe. In other words, boring. But quite often when we're using social media to help grow a brand for our business or side hustle, we play it way too safe and show zero personality or quirkiness, which means it becomes impossible to stand out. You don't need to grow a mullet, but sometimes embracing your weirdness and uniqueness can be your biggest advantage. Lesson three, include catchphrases and mantras. Yo, you cool cats and kittens, cool cats and kittens, cool cats and kittens, it's Carol. The brutal reality is there's so much content out there that if you don't have these memorable quotes that you become associated with, it's much easier for people to forget you. People want to feel like they're part of a tribe. And having your own phrases and sayings that are linked to your brand is a great way of being memorable and making people feel more connected. Lesson four, consistent high quantity. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to video message number 237. The truth is that both Joe Exotic and Carol Baskin were pumping out loads of content in order to grow such huge followings on social media. But so many people get held back by perfectionism and say, it's not ready yet. And so the simplest solution is committing to a daily post. No matter what, post on social media at least one piece of content every day and set a forfeit if you don't. You'll very quickly move from being a consumer of content to a creator of content, just like Joe and Carol. Lesson five, stay focused on your mission. Things at one point are going relatively well for Joe. And then he starts using similar branding to Carol Baskin in his own content. Hey Carol, it's a voice from your past. Now, piggybacking off a competitor's fame can work, but clearly trademark infringement is too far. And after getting sued, Joe was left bankrupt and goes into partnership with Jeff Lowe, which could be a whole separate lesson about carefully vetting who you work with. But the point is, this downfall all came about because Joe got so hung up on his competitor and stopped focusing on his own business. Rather than trying to be better, he became obsessed and things started to spiral. So run your own race and stay focused on your own mission. But now, if you want more business lessons from unlikely places, go and check out this playlist right here. Thanks for watching and I'll hopefully see you soon. Cheers.